I'm Kaylee and this is the last video in my 2018 bookshelf tour. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorites shelf. I actually have two separate bookshelves in my bedroom with all my favorite books. Well, not like all my favorite books, but a lot of my favorite books. <laughs> When I was setting up my bookshelves, I decided that any books in my bedroom, I wanted them to be books that bring me joy, that bring me happiness. I could just look around and say, ah, oh, my books, I love them. <laughs> so those are the books that I'm gonna show you today. In case you didn't know, Books for MKs is a charity that donates books to missionary kids. You can donate to the kids. Uh, there's a link down in the description to gofundme.com and there is a button at the end of this video. So let's go ahead to my bedroom and I'm going to show you the two big tall bookshelves full of my favorites. So one of the shelves that I have in my bedroom is right next to my bed and on the very top shelf we have the box set of Little House on the Prairie books. The set is a little worse for wear and some of the covers are falling apart a little bit but that just shows that this series has been well loved. And then I have a set of Louise May Alcott books, Joe's Boys, Eight Cousins, Little Women, Little Men, Jack and Jill, and Under the Lilacs. The Random House Treasury of Best Loved Poems. The House of Arden by E. Nesbitt. Mistress Masham's Repose by T. H. White. Terrible, Horrible Edie by E. C. Spikeman. The Box of Delights by John Maysfield. The Magic Pudding by Norman Lindsay. On the next shelf, we have all of my Lucy Maud Montgomery books. Started with the Anna Green Gables series, Anna Green Gables, Anne of Avonlea, Anne of the Island, Anne of Windy Poplars, Anne's House of Dreams, Anne of Ingleside, Rainbow Valley, and two copies of Rilla of Ingleside because it's my favorite out of that series. Then the Emily Trilogy, Emily of New Moon, Emily Climbs, and Emily's Quest. Pat of Silver Bush and Mistress Pat. The Story Girl and the Golden Road. Bah! Kilmany of the Orchard. The Blue Castle. Magic for Marigold. A Tangled Web. Jane of Lantern Hill. Chronicles of Avonlea and Further Chronicles of Avonlea. Akin to Anne and Christmas with Anne. Across the Miles, Among the Shadows. After Many Days, Along the Shore. The Doctor's Sweetheart, The Road to Yesterday. At the Altar and Against the Odds. And on the next shelf, we start with some Blue Balliot books. Chasing Vermeer, The Right Three, The Calder Game, and Pieces and Players. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, and Ozma of Oz, Granny's Wonderful Chair, Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens, The Penderwicks, The Penderwicks on Garden Street, The Penderwicks at Point Mouet, Mouet, and The Penderwicks in Spring, The Twenty-One Balloons, Treasure of Green No, The Children of Green No, The River at Green No, and A Stranger at Green No, The Collected Tales of Nurse Matilda, Caddy Woodlawn, Two copies of The Secret Garden. What Katie Did, What Katie Did Next, and What Katie Did at School. Clover. The Dark is Rising series, starting with Oversea Under Stone, The Dark is Rising, Green Witch, Silver on the Tree, which I have two copies, don't ask me why, and The Grey King. And Seaward. And on the next shelf I have um, a little jarro that is full of different bookmarks. So I can just pick out a bookmark whenever I wish. This shelf starts with a lot of Roald Dahl. Matilda, James and the Giant Peach, The Witches, and the BFG. One of my favorites, Danny the Champion of the World. SEO Trot, Boy and Going Solo. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar, The Twits. The Enormous Crocodile, George's Marvelous Medicine, and The Magic Finger. A lot of Edward Eager books, Seven Day Magic, Knight's Castle, Magic by the Lake, 
the Time Garden, Half Magic, Magic or Not, and the Well Wishers. Tuesdays at the Castle, Wednesdays in the Tower, and Thursdays with the Crown. The Haunting of Granite Falls, Dial a Ghost, and The Great Ghost Rescue. Witch Witch. The Star of Kazan, Journey to the River Sea. The Secret of Platform 13, Island of the Ants. The Beasts of Clawstone Castle. Pippi Longstocking, Pippi Goes on Board, and Pippi in the South Seas. The Story of Dr. Doolittle, Dr. Doolittle A Treasury, Dr. Doolittle's Garden, Dr. Doolittle's Circus, and The Voyage of Dr. Doolittle. And on the next shelf, we start with the Miss Mantle Chronicles, Urchin of the Writing Stars, Urchin and the Heartstone, The Heir of Miss Mantle, Urchin and the Raven War, Urchin and the Rage Tide, The Moor Child, Wildwood, Under Wildwood, and Wildwood Imperium. The Phoenix on the Carpet and the Book of Dragons. The Railway Children. The Magic City. The Would Be Goods and Harding's Luck. The Magic World. The Enchanted Castle. Five Children and It. The Story of the Treasure Seekers. The Keys to the Kingdom series starting with Mr. Monday, Grim Tuesday, Drowned Wednesday. Sir Thursday, Lady Friday, Superior Saturday, and Lord Sunday. And on the very bottom shelf, we start with the Charlie Bone series. Midnight for Charlie Bone, Charlie Bone and the Time Twister, Charlie Bone and the Invisible Boy. Charlie Bone and the Castle of Mirrors, Charlie Bone and the Hidden King, Charlie Bone and the Beast, Charlie Bone and the Shadow, Charlie Bone and the Red Knight. The Borrowers, The Borrowers Afield, Borrowers Afloat, Borrowers Aloft, Borrowers Avenged, Bedknob and Broomstick, Pollyanna, The Voyage of Barracks. And then comes the Harry Potter series, The Tales of Beetle the Bard, and Quidditch Through the Ages. I also have a golden snitch, and it opens up like a pocket watch. And I have a time turner. On the very top shelf, we start with one of my very favorite authors, C.S. Lewis. I'm sort of a collector, well, not sort of, I am a collector of the Chronicles of Narnia, so I have several different editions and sets. I have a boxed set of the Chronicles of Narnia. I have a bind-up edition with all of them together in one book. The Last Battle, The Silver Chair and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Prince Caspian, both in English and in Spanish. My favorite book of a series, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe in hardback. The Space Trilogy, Out of the Silent Planet, Perilandra, and That Hideous Strength. Paul Ford's Companion to Narnia, The Heart of Narnia, and Knowing Aslan. The next shelf is entirely Tolkien books. Smith of Wooten Major and Farmer Giles of Ham, The Book of Lost Tales, Parts 1 and 2, and The Lays of Beleriand, two different editions of The Silmarillion, Children of Huron, Tolkien's Ordinary Virtues, Tolkien A Dictionary, and Tolkien An Illustrated Atlas, The Letters of J.R.R. Tolkien, Unfinished Tales of Numenor and Middle-earth. I also have an elven brooch. I have a box set of Lord of the Rings, The Lost Road, and other writings, Master of Middle-earth, The Tolkien Reader, The Complete Guide to Middle-earth, The Hobbit, and a one-volume edition of The Lord of the Rings. On the next shelf, we have the rest of Tolkien and C.S. Lewis that wouldn't fit on the other two shelves, and then some Dorothy Sayers. The Story of Kulervo, The Legend of Sigurd and Gudrun, I know I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> Tolkien, a biography. Surprised by joy. The Screwtape Letters and Mere Christianity. The Joyful Christian. The Weight of Glory. A Severe Mercy. Light on C.S. Lewis. The Abolition of Man. The Four Loves. The Great Divorce. The Problem of Pain. C.S. Lewis, a biography. Letters of C.S. Lewis. Letters to Malcolm, chiefly on prayer. The Lord Peter Whimsey series by Dorothy Sayers starts with The Nine Tailors, Clouds of Witness, 
Clouds of Witness and the Unpleasantness at the Bologna Club, Striding Folly, Thrones and Dominations, Five Red Herrings, The Hangman's Holiday, The Documents in the Case, In the Teeth of the Evidence, Lord Peter Views the Body and Have His Carcass, Murder Must Advertise and Busman's Honeymoon, Strong Poison and Gaudy Night, Unnatural Death and Whose Body. On the next shelf, we have Arthur Ransom books and some of Rick Riordan, Swallows and Amazons, Peter Duck, Swallowdale, and Winter Holiday, Coot Club, Pigeon Post, and We Didn't Mean to Go to Sea, Secret Water, The Big Six, and Missy Lee, The Picts and the Martyrs, and Great Northern, The Red Pyramid, Throne of Fire, and The Serpent's Shadow, The Sword of Summer, The Hammer of Thor, The Ship of the Dead, the Hidden Oracle, The Dark Prophecy. Down on the next shelf, we continue with Rick Riordan, the Percy Jackson series, Tales of the Greek Heroes, the Demigod Files, the Heroes of Olympus series, the Mysterious Benedict Society, Prisoner's Dilemma and Perilous Journey, Mr. Benedict's book of perplexing puzzles, elusive enigmas and curious conundrums, and the Extraordinary Education of Nicholas Benedict. The Secret Keepers. Two different editions of The Rescuers. Miss Bianca, Bernard the Brave, Miss Bianca in the Orient, Bernard into Battle, The Turret. Dancing Shoes, Ballet Shoes, Theater Shoes. The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Led the Rebels There and the girl who soared over fairyland and cut the moon in two. I really wish I had the rest of this series. Sorcery and Cecilia, or the Enchanted Chocolate Pot, The Grand Tour, The Mislaid Magician, or Ten Years After, Marilyn the Magician, and Magician's Ward. Dealing with dragons, talking to dragons, calling on dragons, and searching for dragons. The Seven Towers, Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, the Bird's Christmas Carol, Knock Three Times, Daddy Long Legs, Castaways in Lilliput, Charlotte's Web, Stuart Little, and The Trumpet of the Swan. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my favorite books. Please leave a comment and let me know, are any of these your favorites? Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and remember, the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.